Hi there and welcome back to Pierpoint. I think the batteries on the, the camera ran out. Okay, so we had a little interlude there. So a little tip for you. Okay, with your standing knife blade, when you're using your blades, what I like to do is, is mark them up. Okay, so I go number one, and then on the inside, and I'll just show you quickly, because it's quite important, these blades don't last forever. And once you've used them a few times on the guide feet, they can chip. And of course, if you're then using that on your rod, you could actually scratch, scratch it quite easily. So I number my the ends of my blades up, one and two. So at least I know that when I'm on number two, it's finished. Okay, I think you can just see some ridges in that blade already, so it's starting to wear out. So I'm just going to swap it over and you'll need to do that when you come to this close-up work down here because you need a new blade okay now when you're using new blades don't forget they come coated in oil so give them a rub with alcohol or white spirit just to get rid of the oil and grease because again you'll have problems if you've contaminated the rod oh so okay so just to show you new blade has gone in we're number two so that's fine so a little tip there for you and then you can start to see I mean this is quite sharp so again be very careful that you don't take off too much but you can see and just use the weight of the knife and the blade just to take away the edge of that little bit of high build there okay and it will just start coming off okay piece by piece just be very careful Okay, you don't want to come right up the blank because you'll have to strip it all off. Okay, but most of it is in good condition, so apart from this bit here. So just work your way around the rod. Okay, I say it is a process and it will take time. Okay, so gently. You can see with your sharp blade that's coming off quite nicely. Okay. Again, you've got issues with dust. But as I was saying before, when people say, well, how long does it take? Well, how long's a piece of string? And it's all about preparation. If you want the perfect finish and want it to look good, you've got to spend the time doing it. You just can't, there's no shortcuts, basically. Okay, so straight away, that's looking nice. And we do know that these end bits are going to be hidden away underneath the guide foot anyway but of course we want it to look nice before we cover it over okay so keep doing that and I'll keep working at it okay bit by bit okay as you get more confident then you'll speed up and then get your safety glove okay so I'm just going to jump forward to the decal. We'll come back to the spigot wrap, but straight away you can just start to see we're getting a nice smooth finish there now. Okay, we'll come back to that because I wanted to show you the decal while I've got my sharp blade on. So, there's not too much high build over here, so back in the day they probably just put a very small coat over it. So again, a brand new blade, and just very carefully just start to take that off. Again, don't scratch the black sorry the blank okay it's a slow process it's a horrible job this because everything sticks to you like the proverbial okay so gently gently it's piece by piece okay and that's why as I said previously you don't strip a blank down until you've got all the components and in particular the decal I mean, you'd have to replace this one anyway because it's in such poor condition, but you've got to be able to get hold of the decal, and that's what takes the time. Okay. Slow process. And so if you manage to do this without scratching the blank, you've done well. Okay, take it off gradually. It's not a race. Okay, bit by bit. 
you might be able to just see the imprint of the word Ziplex that's still in there. We'll come back to that because that needs to come out on off as well. And remember I marked the blank with the China Graph pencil because I needed to know the top side. Well, of course, the decal is going to go back in exactly the same position. So anything that's underneath here, it needs to be smooth, it needs to be flat because the decal is going to go over the top of it and you don't want any pimples or bubbles or imperfections. Okay. It's a process. If you spend the time doing it, you'll get the rewards. Okay. So it's, it's like back in the day they probably didn't put too much high build over that, it was just a, a very thin layer. Okay, so I'm going to continue with this. I've done it. Okay. Horrible stuff. And also be careful with your sharp blade because it it will want to go into the blank. Now this one's just a little bit thicker, I can see that. Okay, it's just going to take a bit of work on that to get that off without damaging the blank. It's a little bit more thicker than what we've just taken up above it. Okay, so nice and easy with that. You can apply a little bit of heat, so if it's a bit stubborn, not too much, it's just enough to melt that transfer. Okay, and you can see it is a transfer because there's the edge of it there. Okay. And you'll see that with a bit of heat that just slides off. Okay, just be careful. You don't want to go into the blank. It will just take off the transfer. That's a bit Okay. Nice sharp blade. <coughs> A bit more heat required. Okay, just enough to soften it. Not too much. I think you get the general idea. Okay, and just use the weight of the knife. You're not actually digging it in. Just run the knife over the top of it. They're required. Nasty stuff. But at least we know the original is going to go back in there somewhere. Okay, it's already starting to take shape. Let's work on this bit down there. A little bit of heat, not too much. see that whatever's on there is just a little bit thicker than what was up above it. Okay, it just takes a bit more of an effort, being cautious as well. It's all about taking your time. Okay. general idea. We've got another little decal down the bottom there to take care of as well so that's got to come off. And it looks like it's a bit easier. Okay and there we had the the one inch gap between the end of the shrink tube and you can see that 
the end of that shrink tube there's the mark there but we also got a bit of water penetration in there salt water so I'll show you what to do to to seal that when we come to it stop that from happening okay so you're always thinking ahead okay this one's coming off a bit easier I don't think there's any high build on that that at all which kind of makes me think it was added after the decal itself because there's no high build on that whatsoever okay right we're just going to hold it there while I clean up a little bit I'm going to turn the cameras off and then I'll I'll come back to you while I'll just clean myself up a little bit. <laughs> 